Beer on a Tape. This is day seven. I'll be your host of Rook, and today I am testing out some beer. Uh, it is called Hardywood. It is a gingerbread stout. This is an imperial milk stout with cinnamon, vanilla, ginger, and honey. I'm sticking with the cookies right now because I have the frosted sugar cookie, had the oatmeal cookies, and now I have the gingerbread stout. So uh, it's another stout. I had a stout last time. I give it a 2.9. I'm not a big fan of stouts, uh, but I feel that I might, this might change my mind. I love gingerbread uh, cookies, and it's tastes really good. Cinnamon, vanilla, ginger, probably, and honey too. So it's probably gonna be a sweet beer. Uh, once again, like the last one, a sweet and heavy beer, uh, but let's give it a shot. I can taste the vanilla. You can taste the gingerbread um, flavor to it. A little sweet, not too overwhelmingly sweet, uh, but just enough. It is a little heavy. Uh, well, it's 9.2% alcohol, so it's a um, little alcohol in this one, but this is, this, is, this is good. That sweet Christmassy flavor. I know Nick had a beer yesterday. He said it didn't really come in any winter flavors or a Christmas flavor. This beer definitely has that in here. And that brings it to my take, and today is all about our guy Aaron Judge. All rise. He's coming back, baby. Gotta, gotta love it. Yankees got the deal done. They brought their guy back, Hal Steinberg, had to get on the phone. Uh, Cashman said he was the Mariano Rivera to getting this deal done. So he was the closer. He got Aaron Judge to come back. Aaron Judge flew all the way to San Diego, met at Petco Park last night. I think the deal with them, rumor are reportedly are about uh, 10 years, 40, $400 million. Yankees came in at nine years, $360 million. So you know that he wanted to be here. He wants to be a Yankee. And that's what we gotta appreciate. That's our guy, Aaron Judge. And I got you gotta think the next step up for Aaron Judge is to become a captain of the New York Yankees. And he's the face of the franchise, he should be. Uh, everyone loves him. He's a, he, he's a huge draw after 62 home runs last, last year. And Hal Steinberger, Nick said this yesterday, Hal Steinberger is a businessman. And what Hal Steinberger did was he conducted business yesterday. He knew the best interest for his business is to go out there and make sure Aaron Judge comes back because that is a business decision. Spend the money to a guy who's going to bring you a ton of money in, and he's going to play really well too, so maybe he'll bring that championship to, to the New York Yankees. But it's not done, all right? Just because the Yankees got Aaron Judge doesn't mean all Yankee fans are going to be happy. Are we happy today? Yes. We'll probably give Hal Steinbrenner, uh, Brian Cashman, a break, a reprieve for the day. But the truth is, the Yankees have to go out there and do more than just re-sign Aaron Judge. It's the same team. We have Rizzo, he came back, that's great. They added Canley yesterday, which is awesome. Help bolster that bullpen. But you gotta do more. We need more bats, no, more contact, consistent hitters. I know Judge hits the home runs, Stanton hits home runs. The Yankees need somebody who makes contact, get on base often. You gotta get rid of Donaldson. You gotta get rid of Hicks. IKF can't play shortstop. They gotta bring up Fopi or they gotta bring up Peraza. Yankees cannot stand Pat now. Just because you have Aaron Judge doesn't mean offseason's a win. Offseason has to be one with getting more players and building around our stud. I wanna see the Yankees go out there and sign a Another outfielder, either Ben Attendi or Brantley or, uh, or trade for Brian Reynolds. Uh, we also need to get uh, more pitching. I'd like to see him go to Rodon. Uh, that'd be awesome. Another good, good arm in that rotation. They lost Tyon. Tyon's gone. He's gone to the Cubs for a four-year deal. So the Yankees, need, our Yankees are not done. The Yankees need this offseason to be successful. We need to add a couple more players. Back to the beer. So this is the gingerbread stout once again. Actually, I guess better than last stout. I know Nick's going to kill me because Nick hates it rated and ranking. <laughs> Three above, but it's not our fault we're picking good beers. It's definitely lighter than I thought it would be. It's not a beer you're gonna drink over and over all night long, um, but it's definitely a good enough beer to drink at least once or twice in the night. Uh, 9.2% alcohol, so you're probably not gonna drink that many of them because it, it's gonna be, uh, gonna be a long night or long morning the next day if you drink too many of these. For this one, I'm gonna go with a 3.2. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good beer. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big on stout, so I'm not gonna be ranking it too high, but. This is definitely uh, a very good beer. And I hope you guys enjoyed this beer and a take. And that's it for a beer and a take. We'll see you later. Peace.